gentlemen, welcome back to Tanks Gaming today again with another Hearts of Iron 4 video where we play uh, the World of Warcraft mod with Atheroth or Stormwind, uh, but the faction is called Atheroth. Uh, we are pushing north. All of the south of the continent is in our possession. We are defeating the Dark Iron um, nation at the moment, or we are at least trying. And, um, yeah, uh, if you have uh, left any suggestions so far in the comment sections, I'm sorry I'm recording those all back to back. Because I'm on a drive right now and I haven't recorded in months, basically. Um, which means I really enjoy the recording session right now. Uh, sure, logistics. Uh, and then the marksman has been done, so can we get the last marksman ding? Oh, yes, we can. Um... So therefore, I'm trying not to stop the recording and just continue as long as I'm on a drive. But if you have any names you left, any name suggestions or anything like that in the comment section, uh, I haven't gotten to it yet. Um, I will get to it as soon as the first episode of this is uploaded and get some comments and stuff. Oh, very nice. Oh, you are actually completely done, which means we're gonna continue with the magic stuff. Which means we can we can upgrade our heavy cavalry. And we will take Black Mountain soon-ish. Hopefully. Actually, we won't. So you guys need to stop again. And we check how we do on infrastructure-wise. Yes, so you and you need to be upgraded. That's the lowest two, so you need to come up here and you need to come up here. Very nice. So we get some infrastructure up and running in here. Till you get some more infrastructure stuff done. Are uh, we looking on that? Nearly done with the training of some more cavalry units, which will be nice. Have more heavy cavalry on this front. That will be kind of helpful. Um, maybe I should consider building an airport as well. Uh, can I build an airport up here? I cannot. Crap. That would have been helpful. That would have been very helpful. Maybe I should upgrade my support. Yeah, I probably should do that. With the next free research, I probably should consider upgrading my support units. That would be helpful. You already have more supplies in there, which is nice. Uh, why aren't you actually helping? You're just sitting down here, you're just sitting down here, you're just sitting down here. Which is okay, uh, because, yeah, because the infrastructure up here is too crappy. Uh, more troops would hurt, actually, than help. Um, yeah, let you get all your organization, let you get in position, and then tell you to go again. Let's wait till you're done moving. You are done moving, so go and go. That should be helpful, and oh yeah, there we go. Those five divisions, uh, they are needed in the red attack. So come up here. Ooh, that was a nice overrun over there. Wow. And we took the actual capital and the province next to it with an actual bunker in it. Level three bunker, very nice. Yeah, just hold that and I'll tell you all to stop again. Just move in to position and try to hold it. Infrastructure-wise, you are kind of okay-ish there. However, it looks like we need some more infrastructure up here. Well, it's already on an 8, so no, we don't. We can let that run. Uh, another airport? You still cannot build an airport up here. Unfortunate. Very, very unfortunate. Did you have a level up? No. Did you have a level up? No. Did you have a level up? No. Nobody had a level up. How sad. How very sad. I'll actually just tell you like this. So then I can tell you to just go. But I'm gonna wait till all of those... Go oh, they're already up there? Wow. The heavy cavalry is fast, guys. 
It seems to be super fast. Um, if I tell you to execute, 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 nothing happens because you do not have these orders. If I tell you and you to go, though... Wow. <laughs> One shot you took, in, uh, took him out. If I tell Blue Army to go super aggressively... Oops. I, if I tell Blue Army to go super aggressively... Red Army can go just casual. Although they just did an amazing rush and ended this war. Wow. <laughs> Frostmare, really? You do have some points. Dark Iron, take all states. It's too much, so pass, 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 pass. pass. And now I can't take all states because the Frost Bar have taken some of it. Ooh, that makes me a little bit mad. Frostmar, you didn't do you a favor there. End the turn. Anything else to take? Nope, we are done. So, how are we looking here? Uh, can, could we build a couple more farms up here? We can over here. Uh huh. Move all the way to the top, please. Thank you. It's the one farm we need to build. That's okay-ish. Uh, sure, Red Army. Get over here. Blue Army. Frostmore. Yeah, I don't like you. Um, that's okay. That was the last attack to do. Uh, magic is still coming in. Uh, upgrade the war engines. Probably, yeah. I think that's good. Um, we are done with our war. Will you be enlightened to join us? You are not. Which is rather unfortunate for you, my friend. Because that means blue army. But you, uh, you at least get puppeted afterwards. So yeah, blue army gets over there. Uh, red army gets orders over here to justify war goal, conquer, uh, fusilite. There we go. Get the order to actually come over here. And you're gonna do that super aggressively. Uh, how many factors do we have? Like 45 more than we need. Yeah, so like bring that up to full full strength. Uh, no, that's still good. Yeah, Frostmar, you are screwed. You wouldn't join me also because the light level. Um, no, actually, yeah, also the light level. You haven't gotten the 200% light level. So the dwarves will also get taken out because they won't join otherwise. Well, taken out sounds a bit mean, but it is what it is. I will take him out and then pop at them. And then probably... Actually, I have to chess. Uh, oh, my war goal has finished. Okay, stop. Execute. Um, okay, army is okay. Naval Doctrine support. Logistics support. No medical support. No scout. No cavalry. Engineering. Spellcaster. Archer. Or war engine support. It isn't the, in here the thing I need. So it's still in the army tab, I guess. Sure, get the next level of logistics. So they do not starve that much. And declare the war over here. That's it. I doubt I'll need some help over here. Yep, I don't. They'll get crushed like nothing. This one I actually take over for me as well. Because that's green area. I might be able to build some stuff in here. Research the last magic stuff. Yep, there goes the capital. And take all states. And to turn, and done. Awesome. Red army comes over here. That's okay-ish. Um, magic caster upgrade to level 4. Still 900 equipment that needs to be changed over. Still 4,000 knight equipment that needs to be changed over. 
which is still good. We have 2,000 infantry, uh, recruitable population again. I think we need to upgrade the infrastructure in here, though. Oh, yes, we do. Uh, there's a one as well. That's a nine, that's an eight, so that's okay. Uh, over here, we are good for the moment, so... Valley of Kings, all the way to the top, and Suffolk Valley, all the way to the top, and the Dustfire Valley is all the way on the top as well. So yeah, there we go. And waiting for the infrastructure to come in, the army has yet not yet decided to move because there is not enough infrastructure up there. So they're kind of smart in that way. Did you get a level up yet? Yeah, you did, but you didn't get any traits to pick because... You didn't reach anything to 100% yet. You an idiot. Okay, next level of war engine gets upgraded, which means... Oopala. Yeah, there we go. Other war engines. And we are short on food again. How rude. But we can still get some more fruit from them. Should be all good. Awesome. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Still haven't decided to move because there is not enough infrastructure up there. It's still just this one province uh, managed subjects. It's still just a... Uh, oh no, we could actually integrate both of them to integrated puppet. I still don't see the benefit of that though. At least not right now. Manage occupied territory. I could release a couple of nations, but I don't want to. Because that wouldn't be helpful for myself right now. Um, you are this one over here. Which is not really helpful. You are the one down there. I need actually this one in between here. There you go. Uh, can we build some more civilian factories in here? Ah, uh, we could over here. And move them right down here. And right over here. That's okay. Equipment-wise, we are still more than good. We can get... We already have the last one of those. This one is still going. This one is still going. Uh, this one is still going planning, defense, skill. I don't know what the skill thing is. I'm gonna do it. Just to see for once. And then at some point I probably should start researching the navy stuff. Although we still have a lot of territory to take in Azeroth. Azeroth? Actually don't, I actually don't remember which one is which. Actually, let me just check that here on Google. Uh... World of Warcraft map. Okay, and they are called um, the Wandering Isles. No. Thundered World, no, that doesn't really help me. Kalindor and... Kalindor and Eastern Kingdom? And the whole world is Azeroth? Is that a possibility? It, is, it could be. I'm not 100% sure, actually. Well, uh, both maps I have, yeah, it's Kalindor and Eastern Kingdom. So th that's the Eastern Kingdom, this is Kalindor, uh, this is... Paindira, those are the Broken Isles. I think those are the Wandering Isles up here, if I read that correctly from this map. But it is what it is. We are still good here. Ah, look at that. Red Army decided there is enough and moved in. And then it was not enough again, and now it's enough again. Uh, where would be your capital? Iron Forge is over there. How is your troop strength up here? Ooh, that's going to be a tough war if I declare on them. But I don't really have another choice. 
other than to start build up my navy and do some naval invasions here and there. Like the jelly neck. Although the jelly neck doesn't help me either, we don't have another front anywhere then. So I do need to build up the infrastructure here a bit more so we really can funnel through enough material. Moonshiner, you're not at war. You are actually at war with... No, you just have an annex war goal against Bulgari, which is up there. You are just... Kazamara, you're just doing stuff, but I can't invite you because I can't increase your light faction. And I can also not build a spy network. Let's build a spy network. Uh, destabilization nation, sabotage operation, acquire army intel, acquire aviation intel, acquire naval and sabotage industry, assassinate leader. Logistics, that's okay. And war engines, that's okay as well. So actually pause. Our spies were ousted. That's of course not very nice of them. So let's do this one. And with this one, it is definitely not in here. Is it statecraft? We have our spies. Spy. Destabilize. Spy action. Growth to 120%. Yeah, we have to go down to, through the middle here, but we have 25% bonus here, so we, let's do that with this one. So we can use our spies afterwards. Uh, yeah, better war engines. And, oh, no, just like this. Um, uh, build a spy network and bring them both up to 60. I should have enough points for that. Yes, I do. Spies were ousted again. They're doing a lot of stuff against me, actually. Okay, that's all good. Red Ridge, you didn't get a lot of territory. You didn't get any territory, actually. I took everything of the Iron, Iron Forge, uh, I, uh, Iron, Iron, Black Iron. Where would that be? So your capital is over here. You still would like to join my faction? No, no, now you don't. Because we are not at war, we have different ideologies. But you would like to join my faction. You did when it was war. I guess as soon as I go to war with the dwarfs again, that will change again. That you would like. Uh, Wild Hammer, also dwarfs. That's dragons. Storm Garden, those are the humans, which I would love to invite to faction. But also they need a light faction of 200, I guess. Yes, they do. And you have no aggression pacts with a lot of people. There are a lot of people up here. Well, like I said, dwarfs and people get conquered, but then get released as puppets. Afterwards, if nothing else, if I, if they don't want to join during war, war and stuff. Although, wow. Yeah, as soon as I'm done here, I guess I will need some naval invasions plans for storm, storm garden. South Shore. Ah, I should have done a right click. Those are all, you know, there are more green skins. Oh, there is Laura Dunn. Yeah, but those are all humans up here again. Maybe I leave the humans alone. Really go till here. So the whole southern part is mine. And then expand to the isle and over to all the elves, orcs, to the horde actually. So yeah, that's the horde continent. That's the alliance continent. I do remember that. <laughs> Darn it! You, yo, uh, you ousted my spies again. We went up to 58% though. We'll see. Maybe we can work with the spy network really nicely with destabilization, the nation and stuff like that. Would be very interesting to see if that works. Or not. And otherwise, yeah, we still have to kind of wait. Research-wise, that's just still going on. We do not have enough command. Well, we actually have enough command points. But we already have the engine, the goblin engineers. You asked my spies again. We're at 66%. Still built the spy network. I don't know what it does if we destabilize the nation. 
Uh, oh, they get destabilized. Destabilized. Get less war support. We get army experience. We get air experience. We get naval experience. We get... We don't know. And we need to research that as well. Okay. Okie dokie. Uh, okay, details. Uh, okay, you're done with that. Um, I don't know what the skill did. Is any of my generals better now? That's five, that's five, that's five, that's five, that's five, that's three. Support equipment we can probably upgrade as well. You didn't get a skill point, you didn't get a skill point, and you didn't get a skill point. So I didn't know what the skill point thing is. But that spy stuff is still going on, so there's no need to do anything more there. Uh, equipment capture ratio... It's probably good. Army doctrine... I have a ton of cavalry now. Yeah, let's get some... Blech. Let's get the division speed up first then. Guardians. Ah, it's mutually exclusive with Conquerors. And I choose Conquerors. Okay, uh, Statecraft, we are researching the spy crap here. Belief, we are good. Innovation, we are good. Oh, that's encryption and decryption stuff is over here. Very nice. Very nice. Uh, weekly war support. That's just for support stuff. Stability stuff. Political power. Decryption, encryption. Research time. Drift defense. Daily command power. And monthly opinion modifier. Uh, this one is belief is religions actions by eight uh, six hundred percent multiplier and this is this okay uh, resources wise still looking if we get anywhere uh, an extra research buff but no that's for the roost that's for the lumber mill that's for the stables which we are still we still good on stable we have more than enough horses. So that's nothing in there. Let's check the industry again. Uh, production efficiency, military factory, production efficiency growth. Efficiency, construction speed, efficiency, repair speed, construction speed, and free building repairs down here. Which is actually cool. Dockyard and factory outport. Um, do I actually have a free research? I do have a free research slot, so probably should start with that one. Factory repair speed, free building repair, plus five percent. Eh, I don't know. Free building does that mean I get a free one? Ah, doesn't matter. Let's do that while the other one is still going. How is the construction looking up here, anyways? Infrastructure is coming along. If I click on infrastructure, how are we looking? 9, 10. We basically have a pretty good throughput here right now, which is good. Yeah, I think I can live with that for now. Our spies were ousted again. We are at 85%. So the destabilization of the nation helps me in so f so far that I do not need to take as much territory for the capitulate, but I still need to oh crap I still need to get to here, so I have to go up here around here and up again. Uh huh, and they have a ton of divisions. So if they block this choke point, that will be a long war because I just have two provinces to fight from. Also, if I'm in here with all my army and they have a troop here and a troop here, it will take forever to take either of probably this and this one because they are bounced to a corner over here. Uh, so those guys will starve out and die. 
destabilize the nation. Uh, sabotage operations. Yeah, let's do this one first. So that actually needs a lot of planning, this attack. Um, I mean, first, the initial attack, uh, if I do the light thing... Uh, oh, I'm actually short on food. Uh, sure, Grand Hamlet. Give me some food. Well, you're actually one of my puppets. You probably should give me more food, so you go down to zero. Send. Um, you give me more food. Stratholm. Because I don't think Stratholm is one of my... One of my... Uh, neighbors. I actually could click on neighbors, right? Uh, Azeroth, Permedia, Island... Neighbors. Grand Hamlet, Westfall, Kazamoda, Redrich, and Frostman. The Frostman... I don't know, I'm tempted to actually take them into my faction. At this point. I know I go <laughs> I go for and back between that stuff, but... It is what it is. Uh, okay. So the infrastructure here is nearly at the max. So I'm gonna max those two out as well. Gonna max those two out as well. This one is already on the way to be maxed out, which is good. Uh, Food-wise, we have built up everything food-wise. Uh, Smeltery-wise, we also have no slots for smeltery. Uh, what I will do, though, that's a coastal fort, that's a land fort. I will build... Okay, I also will build a couple of land forts in here. Just because, for reasons. Yes, sir. Oh, tier 4. I still need like, to upgrade a thousand of them. Which means... Um, well, first of all, unstoppable. Yeah, please. And you were army. And you need to get the last siege engine thingy up and ready. There we go. <coughs> Jotunheim declared war on Mist Whisper. Whisperers. Mist Whisperers. I have 7,000 infantry equipment. Ah, 7,000 mans. I, I recruits I could force into service. <coughs> <coughs> and I don't know if it's worth to do that right now. Maybe get another five heavy cavalry divisions. So I'm up to 15 shock troops. I think that might be smartest idea here six divisions yeah let's do six divisions for now at the location you will pop up up here and you will be joining a red army that's okay so red army will have push orders to go this one is completely cut off over here um, so yeah red army doesn't gonna go push in this direction and a blue army a blue army is gonna, gonna push over here. I just need to get there. ASAP. The blue army is super aggro, red army is super aggro. And I just realized I've been gone for 30 minutes again, so thank you for watching, guys. I hope you did enjoy. Consider hitting the like button if you liked it. You could also subscribe to the channel or follow me on Facebook or Twitter. Links in the video description, like always. Like always, guys, one more time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.